everyone knows about Zach D Films. He's not just another shorts creator, he's the shorts creator, the number one most viewed channel on YouTube shorts. Billions of views every single month. His videos flood the algorithm. He's making over $300,000 a month from content alone. And the reason he's relatively alone at the top is because these videos are incredibly hard to make. It takes hours just to create 30 seconds of animation in a software called Blender. And it takes years to master 3D animation itself. Sure, you could hire animators, but they're expensive. The average cost is around $25 per second. So yeah, the barrier to entry is high. But animators aren't the only ones working on these videos. There are multiple editors, sound designers, researchers. He's got a full team behind every 30 second clip. So the logical conclusion most people come to is, I can't compete with that. At least, until now. AI has been evolving rapidly, and by the time you're watching this, it's only getting better. It's just a matter of time before animators are replaced by prompt engineers. And that's what this channel is all about. This is a video I made entirely with AI. A jumping spider's eyes are smaller than a grain of sand, but they can spot prey ten times their size from across a leaf. If you placed one on the tip of a pencil, it'd still look back at you. Now, if you pulled out an ostrich eye, it'd be bigger than a billiard ball. But if you took the colossal squid's eye and dropped it onto a wooden table, it would punch straight through. So let me break down exactly how you can make the same kind of videos, but powered entirely by AI. You don't need animators, no editors, no camera, no crew. Just AI tools and the right workflow can now create Zack-style videos in a few hours. It starts with an idea, a question that makes people stop scrolling. Zach doesn't just post cool animations. He answers questions people didn't even know they wanted to ask. Now, here's the turning point. You can just ask ChatGPT to write you a script. And yeah, it'll give you something, but not something you'd actually use. The tone will be off, the pacing won't feel right, and it definitely won't come with visuals or transition prompts. That's because GPT doesn't know what you want. Until you train it, you need to give it examples. You need to show it reference images. You need to structure everything around it before it can become a real AI video assistant. And if I showed you how to build all that from scratch, this video would be hours long. So, if you want to save time and not argue with ChatGPT for days, I already did it for you. I built a complete workflow around it, from how the script is written, to how the images are generated, to how transitions are animated. And I packaged it all into a single system I now use for every video I make. With it, I can just type in, write me a script on a topic from smallest to biggest egg, and get a fully structured script, two to three image prompts per scene, transition prompts for animations between images, and everything in the trained Zach D Films visual style. So if you want to start making content like this without spending days formatting, testing, and guessing, you'll find the GentVid AI video video toolkit linked in the description. Now, let's continue making the video. We've got the full script from ChatGPT. Now it's time to generate the actual visuals. Let's generate the first image. Okay, we've got our first image, and it looks good. Now, let's generate the second image. As you can see, DALI won't always give you good results. It'll make mistakes, sometimes a lot of them. So be ready to argue with it. You're the only one who can guide it to what you want. Okay, we've got our second image, and it looks solid too. But here's the thing, DALI only generates in 2 to 3 format, and we're making vertical 916 videos. So now, I drop each image into Canva, centering the subject, and expanding the image with Magic Expand. If you get a crap image, try again and again until you got what you want.
Now that we've got our images, image A and image B, it's time to make them move. We're going to use a tool called Pika Labs. So here's what I do. I upload the images. Then I go back to ChatGPT and grab the transition prompt it gave me. I paste that into Pika as the animation prompt, set the duration to four seconds, and click generate. Pika then animates a smooth transition between image A and B using that exact motion prompt. As you can see, the animation turned out pretty bad. Just like Dali, Pika will mess up sometimes. It might add weird motion, distort objects, or completely miss the intended vibe. If that happens, you either rewrite the prompt, guide it more clearly, or if the prompt seems fine, just try again. You have to think like a director. You're telling the AI what the camera is doing, what's changing, and how it should feel. Once the animation looks good, we move on to the next scene and repeat the process until every animation is finished. To keep this video from being 10 hours long, I'll handle the rest off screen, and I'll see you once they're all done. When all animations are done, we move on to voiceover and final editing. Now everything's ready. Visuals, animations, voiceover. All that's left is putting it together. For that, I use CapCut. I import all the animated clips from Pika, drop in the voiceover lines from Eleven Labs, and line them up scene by scene. A few moments later. Okay, once you've synced the animations with the voiceover, you can go ahead and add captions. If I need background music, I usually choose something ambient, dark, or minimal, nothing that competes with the narration. Also, sound effects are really important, so don't forget to add them. They make the visuals feel more alive and help guide the viewer's attention. Here's the difference. Then I export the final 916 video, and that's it. The same format used by Zach D Films, made completely with AI. Here's how the video I made looks. An ant egg is less than one millimeter long, and it hatches into a worker in just days. Now the chicken egg is about six centimeters long, and it holds a fully formed bird inside. But the ostrich egg is over 15 centimeters long, and its shell can support a grown man's weight. Now now, the titanosaur egg was around 30 centimeters long, and it once held a creature over 70 tons. So I posted a few of these videos, and I got some pretty decent stats on Instagram Reels. But here's the important part, what this channel is really about. Earlier in this video, we talked about how fast AI is evolving. People say everything will be automated, everyone's getting fired. No, it won't, but only if you stay in touch with AI. And this channel is the best place to stay ahead, especially if you're into AI video and image generation. So if you don't want to get left behind, subscribe to GentVid. Also, if this video hits 100,000 views, I'll make a full in-depth follow-up. How to train GPT models, structure the pipeline, and take everything to the next level. But if this was enough to get you started, drop a comment and tell me what you wanna see next. We're just getting started.